Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. I got paid to do something I would have done for free, mm -hmm. you know, and all the years that I worked, it's like, you know, I was getting paid for doing something that I absolutely loved. Mm -hmm. Number 10 has been on one of our lists, if not a couple, in the past. But uh, I think we have to put her on this list. Uh, she could, and again, some of these numbers, folks, we could be right or wrong. This is just what Jeremy and I came up with as to what our top 10 is. And we're going to start off with one of the hottest, smokingest babes of all time, man. We got to put it out there. I'll let Jeremy take over after I announce her name because I think he went off last time. Uh, in a great way, and I hope he does again, is Missy Hyatt, man. Uh, Put her out there. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, it's Missy Hyatt. She's on all of my lists. I mean, the original bombshell, heel manager, valet, announcer, easy on the eyes. Welcome to Missy's Manners. And I feel just about as good as I look. She, she's our she's our answer to the sheik. She's going to make all the fucking lists. You know what I'm saying? For whatever yeah. reason. But we have our Abby sheik. Uh, them two, it seemed we could put them on every... We could have any kind of a top ten uh, list. And at some point, um, uh, you know... Missy High is going to be on that list, guys. Yep. <laughs> so get used to it. <laughs> we'll just have, like, one day we'll just, like, every week will just be, uh, okay, our four most important people in wrestling. <laughs> Tully Blanchard, Abby, The Sheik, and Missy Hyatt. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Missy was actually was revolutionary. I mean, she was gorgeous, for especially for the, the state of most of the girls in the business at the time. And she had personality. And, you know, she wasn't going to cut any three or four minute live in-ring promos, but she was going to do, you know, a good job with what you gave her. And she and Eddie obviously were a couple at the time. And, you know, she dressed up the show and she was smart to the business kind of, and I didn't have any problem with her, you know, being involved in it. I mean, let's, let's try to address this one real quick, but we've talked about her before, so I don't want to beat it up too long. But Missy was a reason that I kept watching wrestling when it really sucked. Uh, she was a good manager who could shit talk and get a crowd to go nuts. You see what he got involved with a married oh, man, he's Jerry. Not Lowe. a hero. Scott, come here. Come here. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Your master's voice calls, Scott. Yeah. Now you got in there and you got involved and got Jerry Lawler irritated in there, and you're lucky you didn't put that second. Uh, what was that? What was that? He just beat you in there. I thought you said you could beat him. That you said that he could beat him. You said know, it was going to be easy. All of the Gilberts, we thought for sure that you could beat him. That's what you promised. You kept calling and promising. I can beat Jerry. I can beat Jerry. What a nothing happening guy you are. All what right, a wimp. You shouldn't even be in professional wrestling. Well, Seriously, well, I don't listen, believe it. Well, Missy, are we still having a date? Still having a date? Oh, okay, Missy. But when they tried to switch her into an interview position, she handled that pretty well as well. I mean, the cameras are here, and I'd really want to get an interview with you and talk to you about some things you know, that's coming up. I mean, we brought you here. Would you like anything to drink? I mean, we, I'm sure they have some champagne here. I want to dance. Yeah, but can't we have an interview first? Uh-uh. Say something. I want to boogie. I want to really, really dance. Come on. Put something really good. That's not the kind of music I like to dance to. Don't you have to? <laughs> So she was versatile. She was somebody who would get eyeballs on the screen when they otherwise wouldn't be there. Um, also, she was kind of, I don't think you would have had Sunny without Missy. You know what I mean? I mean, we had a falling out years ago. Um, one of the things they teach you in rehab is make amends with people who, you know, and that you, you know, have had a falling out with or whatever. So I actually gave her a phone call one day and I said, let's put everything in our past behind us. And, you know, I don't want to be your best friend. That's not my motive. I don't even want to be friends per se with her. I said, but, you know, I just wanted to smooth things out and let things be, you know. So I have no hard feelings towards her anymore and she does it towards me. And, you know, that's one step. So. That kind of bitchy blonde thing, I think, really started with her. 
Uh, if it didn't, I'm wrong. I'm I'm not going to believe you if you say that. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think starting off my list with some of the hottest Missy Hyatt, man, you can't go wrong. Yeah. So, uh, and like you always said, you said it before, not to be real, real redundant, but you know, the, the transaction she made, you know, from from manager to uh, to announcing, you know, that was she she performed, I think, above and beyond what she was originally, uh, what they had originally maybe planned for her as one of those people that just really done more than I think that they ever, the way they booked her was one way. And then she just took off another, you know, yeah, and, um, in a good way. So also that's your number 10 person. Also, I think her lawsuit might've helped change the face of wrestling, at least temporarily. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but perhaps we've said too much. Read the book that has the literary and wrestling worlds on fire. Pin Me, Pay Me, Have Boots, Will Travel by accomplished professional wrestler Bobby Blaze Smedley. The incredible story of one man's battle to overcome all odds and realize a lifelong dream. Travel with Bobby in the ring, on the road, and around the world, including inside stories from WWE, WCW, Smoky Mountain Wrestling, and more. Forward to the book written by Jim Cornette. Buy your copy of Pay Me, Pay Me, Have Boots, Will Travel on Amazon.com today.